Yes, yes, yes. Just drag it down right in the middle. Center it. Okay. I did it. The brand new Michael Jackson 40th anniversary logo. I'll wait until John hears about this. Hello? Rabble, 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 rabble. What do you mean I can't use Comic Sans? History. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Supernova Heights, where I'm desperately trying to make this look like a studio space, and maybe I'll figure it out. Hi Aaron! I've been making Michael Jackson content for almost six years, and I've never had a story this big. Brand new from the powers that be, it was announced that there will be a Thriller 40 box set release, whatever. Not really a box set, but like kind of, because it's an extended... I was going through Twitter, and I saw this tweet of like the worst logo you could imagine and it said Thriller 40 coming soon and I was like oh my god do you see this and then later on someone shared an email with Jeff from the MJ State online team and he said it's not real don't worry about it just kidding actually he just said no period and so that was it you know I didn't think much of it like another call to arms and then nothing really happens that's uh, been the MJ community in the past, like, ten years, right? Ever since Escape. And then I wake up to this morning on my Twitter feed of everybody being so excited, and I'm like, why? Why are we so excited? Well, it's, it's, it's real. <laughs> like, it's not a rumor. It's real. There's going to be new material, and we'll get into all that and what it entails and, and all that. I will tell you, though, I may go by Jace Bay now, but I'm still that old little... This 13 year old that's gonna give the MJ estate hell, and <laughs> we'll talk about this logo. When you say Michael Jackson, to me now, being as seasoned of a fan as I am, the number one thing logo wise I think of is probably either the new MJ logo or the iconic cursive thriller. Now, if you have what they say on the packaging is the most iconic album or biggest selling, whatever term they used, why would you change it? But I'm not the only person that's been upset about this logo. Questlove uh, said something to the estate and all that, so I don't think we'll be stuck with it. And I think that that's very good news. We've talked about the outside, let's talk about the inside. What does this box set release entail? It seems disc one will be the album in its plain form. Don't know if it's going to be remastered, it has not been confirmed. And then two is going to be demos, outtakes, your hot streets, your carousels, all that. And this is very, very shocking to me, and it should be to you, and nobody's talking about this. I bring it up every time there's talk of a Michael remaster about the Beatles' 50th anniversary, and now I can talk about the Oasis releases. So here I hold in my hand the John Lennon Give Me Some Truth box set. It's a nice little set, but I can't really open it right now. Anyway, here's the size difference compared to a vinyl record. This is the CD version, because I'm more or less a CD guy. This was the big CD Deluxe, and this is a compilation album. So you take it out, there's a book and all of that in this hard case already. Here, you've got the, the CD holder that I was talking about. There's a poster inside, and then all the discs are here, and one of them's missing because they're probably in my player. That's embarrassing. Anyway, what the Michael Jackson estate is doing is just single CD. Not only are we getting that awful, awful artwork, we're also getting just the CD. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's, that's nitpicking maybe. Will the album be remastered? I will say probably not. Um, it might be touched up with some compression and, and EQ and all that, but if we're talking like the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper 2017, going into the master tapes, raising, remixing, no, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I would like that. Because, you know, every 10 years, I think almost every album could be remastered and be more modernized in the sense of sound quality and the Dolby Atmos and all that. There's always some new innovation. I would be, and this is a hot take, I would be more excited to hear a Dolby Atmos of the original album in its plain form than Billie Jean Home Demo Take 2, you know. But that's just me. And, and you know, it's not confirmed, you know. It, it may be remastered, but 
just going off the track record, I, I don't see it happening. Let's talk about this Disc 2 that's up in the air. What is this going to entail? I think there's going to be new stuff to maybe fans that aren't so involved with the internet, like your hot streets and your got the hops and your night lines and all that. But we've already heard that because they've been leaked for 10 years. So that's what's keeping me from being excited is that I feel we've already heard the, the big stuff that is going to be a big deal. Maybe not. Maybe there's some demo out there that we have no idea of. And his studio sessions are logged, and you've got the in the studio with MJ. If there was anything that we didn't know about, we'd know about it. And so I just don't see anything new in that front coming anytime soon. There's some merchandise for sale, God help us all, on the MJ store. This is what it looks like. Jesus crap. Uh, th that's not a cop. <laughs> that's not a cop. I, I won't, won't be wearing that. It's, it's, it's. So, I will refrain from being my Debbie Downer self and tell you all genuinely, I am excited and I do think that it will be cool just to have a new release, like a new run through, a new uh, drop. You know, there'll probably be like a single or something and that'll be cool. But I do think that something nobody's talking about is sure you got the musical. But for everyone worldwide, this is the big first release since the whole fiasco of 2019, and I just think that's really cool. Because if you remember, and I talked about it, John Branca said that there won't be new, new releases because of all that controversy, and that means we're officially out of the storm. They're confident enough that they can release something, and I think that that has a lot to do with the musical. One thing that I haven't talked about, and I've been talking about audio quality so hard, is this SACD and this high-quality vinyl fancy name, and what that entails, and that's a big deal. Most of the iconic artists on Sony uh, record label had these things in the 90s called a SACD, and basically it's a CD that can harness multiple audio channels, and it's just like ridiculous. Ridiculous audio quality, and basically this was kind of discontinued, much like the HD DVDs were discontinued, just because, you know, they weren't really that big of a deal. There was like an Oasis one, which I want, if anybody has, I, I want. There was Wham, there was like Fleetwood Mac, all of these original master recording things, and they're bringing it back for Thriller, and I think that that's great. The SACD by itself is 30 bucks. Great price point but the player is going to cost you like 500 on eBay and then that may not work and then you're kind of stuck with that, but whatever. But if you want to buy the vinyl, which much like the CD, is the master tapes uh, put the vinyl exactly how Michael and Quincy left it, that's going to cost you 100 and I think that's just the album, but it may be the demos too. Um, but anyway, I think that that's great. But I wouldn't trust, on my turntable here, I wouldn't trust the high quality whatever they're trying to do. I just don't think I'd get the full experience, but... If you're someone with that $100,000 sound system, this is what you want to get because that quality is going to be ridiculous, dude. So uh, are you guys going to buy it? Because I am I can see both sides. If you're going to buy it, if you're not, if you think it's a cash grab, if you think it's not, let me know down in the comment section below and I'd love to have or read some discussions. For people that are just subscribed for the news, you guys probably didn't see my last video and this is the first time you're seeing me back. So. All that drama was in the return video, and you guys can watch that up here. If you want to stay up to date with me, it's just like a, a cool guy that's mixing history on Instagram and on Twitter, at History in the Mix. And I think that that'll do it. That's going to wrap us up. So I'll see you all in the next one. Make that change and all that jazz, I like to say. Comic Sans.